Today we're going to be uh, measuring power with the Fluke 1735 power logger. The first thing you should do is make sure that you have the power adapter plugged into the unit if we're going to be measuring uh, for extended periods of time to avoid losing data if your batteries go dead. So plug in your power adapter and then before you turn the unit on, make sure you have the voltage and current connectors connected. Uh, the unit, when you turn it on, is going to go out to verify that these flexi clamps are here. Um, and so we, it just will run smoother if we allow that to happen. So, um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, turn the unit on. And uh, you'll see the unit come up. And it said the flexi set was detected. So it detected the clamps. And we're in the meter, volts, amps, hertz screen. And so we see we have a... Our voltages, uh, all three phases are up about the same level and, uh, and the currents are all about the same. So looks like our three phases of voltage and current look good. So I'll go to the scope menu and uh, I can see the waveforms and kind of verify that uh, channel A, B, and C of voltage and current are correct. Once I've done that, uh, I'm ready to uh, go to the power screen and now I've switched to power and my display is showing phase A, B, and C. Kilowatts, kilo, uh, volt amps, and power factor for each phase. So uh, it's, that readings is constantly being updated and we can watch it on the screen. Uh, in uh, subsequent videos, we'll, we can look at uh, actually recording that over time. But that's how we initially set up the unit and measure power.